Okay guys, so today we are going to discover eight different Elementor tab widget tricks no one ever told you about. So first, we'll start with vertical tabs and then we'll discover how we can convert tabs to accordion in responsive mobile mode, how to change tab content on hover, how to add swiper or slider effect. We'll add an anchor and link it to a hyperlink in our menu section. We'll use autoplay, configure columns, and finally, how to connect tabs with carousel. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, we are going to cover eight different case scenarios here. And let's start with number one, how to create vertical tabs layout in Elementor. So let me add a bit of spacing in between. So there you go, perhaps something like this. And now let's import some demo content. So basically this is gonna save us a lot of time. And for this, you can simply go to our landing page here and you will find many different examples, all looking absolutely fantastic and very professional. So you can use any of them, tweak them around and save a lot of time. Time. So let's use this one for ourselves now. So as you can see, if you hover on top, you have this button here, you can copy this, go back to Elementor, right click on your uh, section and then plus paste. And there you have it. As you can see, this has been recreated for us. Now we are missing those templates, so we need to import them as well. So if you hover on this one, you have another copy sign here. Okay. So each one of them here, you can copy and paste them in the back end as well. So these are templates. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Let me show you where these are. So we have Elementor templates, saved templates. And for this, all you have to do is click add new select container, give it a name. So perhaps container number one, and let's create a template. So there you go. So by default, you will see the header and the footer section. Don't worry. Once we import this into our Elementor page, it will only use the content itself. So let's create a new container. There you go. And now we can go back to our demo here. So as you can see, we have two different types of this one here with the purplish background and this one with a pinkish background. Okay, so we're only using two at the moment, but obviously you would create as many as you have uh, tabs, obviously, you know. So if you hover on top here, we're gonna copy this one, go back here, right click on this, plus paste, and now we can delete the original container here and then click publish. Now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And then we can do the same with container number two. So there you go, we have two different containers now. So if we go back to our Elementor page, so as you can see right here on top, we have a title, so you can put any content you want. And then underneath we have our tabs. So as you can see, this one is called tabs and tools. And again, this is from the plus add-ons ourselves, okay? So if you go here on the, by the side, you can see all the different contents. So you have five tabs, email, notes, timing, website development. And this is exactly what we have here, email, notes, timing, website development. Now, how do you link this to this actual content here? Well, it's very simple. If you click on it, you expand this. As you can see, you can put the title, select the content source. So this is either content or page template. If you select content, you can simply type text here and it will appear immediately. Now, if you want something a little bit more sophisticated, like we have at the moment, like one of those uh, saved templates, you will then select page template and then right here, template or shortcode. In our case, this is a template. And then you can select which template you want to apply. So let's say, for ex example here, container number one. And as you can see, this is not showing up here by the side. So what we need to do, if you want to see it in the back end, you will see it in the front end as a preview, but you might not see it immediately in the back end. So what you need to do is to enable back end visibility. So let's enable this. And there you go. As you can see, this is linked to emails now. And if we do the same with the other one, so let's say this one, we're going to select template as well, select a container number two, and then we can do the same with the other three. Okay. So there you go. So let's put this to the test. So if we click on email with a pink background and then purple, then pink, then purple and pink again. So obviously you would create five different templates here. We only have two. It's just to show you how it works, obviously, you know. Now, as you can see, we have an autoplay. You can disable that if you want while you're working on it. You know, it might be less distracting. You go to extra options, tab autoplay. That's basically it. And then you can reactivate it afterwards as well. 
Now, obviously, if you're working off the demo, you will have five tabs by default here, but perhaps you need less than that, in which case you can simply delete them, okay? And if you need more than that, but you can add a new item. So let's create a new one here. So let's call this one new item. We're going to select page template, and then we're going to select template here. We're going to select our own template. So this one will be container one. And that's basically it. As you can see, now we have five items again, and you can create your new one. That's basically how this works. Okay. Point number two, you are going to love this feature because this is how to convert tabs to accordion in responsive mobile mode. So as you can see, we have our demo here. So if you are on a desktop PC, on a screen, on a laptop or a widescreen device, basically it will display this way. You have the tabs on top. If you click on them, it will reveal all the content underneath. Now, this experience will change completely if you are using a mobile phone. All you have to do is to enable one feature and you will change everything around. Very good. So now let me show you what this looks like on a mobile phone. So we go here in responsive mode, select mobile. And there you go. Now, instead of having tabs, we have an accordion. As you can see, this is much more user friendly. If you are displaying this website on a mobile phone, this experience is much better this way, obviously. You know? Now, how can you enable this so it will switch from one to the other? Well, very easy if you go into the style feature and from here, scroll down and we have the extra options. And here we have tab navigation responsive as you can see force accordion so this is the option that will allow you to switch from one to the other whether you're using a desktop device or a mobile phone okay so our next example is how to change the content on tab hover so basically as you can see at the moment if i hover on top nothing changes i actually have to click on those tabs to reveal the content now how can you change this very easily all you do is go to layout and right here we have on hover tab now if you enable this now all you have to do is to hover on top of those tabs to reveal their content <laughs> So point number four, how to add swiper effects to Elementor tabs. So what does that mean? So let's consider you have a lot of tabs like we have here, like for instance, 15 of them. So when you have that many, they're not going to fit in all at once here on the page. So what we can do is to use a swiper effect. So basically, if you grab it, you can swipe it, you know, as you can see here, this is the effect basically. So how can you apply this? Well, very easily. If you scroll down, we go to layout. And in the layout section, we have swiper effect. So if I disable this, you're going to see immediately what it looks like without it. So there you go. As you can see now, all the 15 icons are being displayed here. So clearly that doesn't look professional at all. So for this, we enable the swiper effect. So let's switch that on. And then you can select the mode and enable loop as well. So if you enable the loop, for instance, well, basically you can loop infinitely, you know. So basically you can keep swiping and it will come back to the first item constantly. And then you can select the mode. So we have swipe and slide. So what's the difference between the two? Well, it's a very slight difference, you know. So let me show this to you. So we won't be able to discover this in the back end. You have to display this in the front end to see the difference. So let's discover swipe first. So let's click on preview. So there it is, as you can see, and I can grab it and I can slide it. We have the loop enabled as well, so it's an infinite loop. Now, if I click on any of those items, if I click on this one, as you can see, it remains there, you know, if I click on Facebook, if I click on this one, maybe dribble here, I come back here to LinkedIn. So basically they remain where they actually are, okay? Now, if we enable slide, and let's have a quick preview. So again, we have the infinite loop enabled. Now, if I click on any of those items, if I click on Facebook, for instance, as you can see, this is centered in the middle. If I click on dribble, it'll be centered in the middle. If I click on this one here, it will be centered in the middle. So that's the only difference between the two. Point number five, let me show you how you can add anchor links. So basically, if you take any of your tabs here, as you can see, if I click on this one, we have ride, this one is eat, this one is business, this one is bike. Maybe you want to link that directly, maybe in your menu section or anywhere on your website using a link, a hyperlink, okay? So how can you do so? So basically, if you open this one here, the first one, if you scroll down, you have the unique ID. So you need to give it a unique ID. So let's say tab hyphen, and this one is earn. Okay, tab earn. So let's open the next one. This one, we'll call it tab ride. This one is eat. So you could call this one 
tab hyphen eat and you could do the same with all of them basically okay so once you have this done click update okay so now let me show you how you can add this as a hyperlink for instance in your menu section or anywhere on your website so what we need to do is to have a quick preview of our page very good and we are going to fetch the url on top here of that page okay so Control C and now we go to our back end and we go to appearance menus make sure it's your main navigation menu and now let's add this to our menu section okay so we're going to create a custom link so we're going to add the URL of our landing page and then we're going to add hashtag tab hyphen let's say eat okay this is the one you want to land in and we're going to put here it as our text link okay let's add this to the menu section as you can see now it's been added let's save this very good and now let's have a quick look in the front end okay so we open in a new tab so as you can see have home about etc then we have eat so if you click on this there you go without doing anything it's bringing us automatically to this section and also to the tab eat <laughs> Okay, very good so point number six automatically change elemental tab content on autoplay so this is a very nice one we touched up on that at the start of our video but let's discover this in more details now so let's say we have three different tabs here like this you know they all look very nice very professional perhaps you want to use this for your hero section or anywhere on your website and emphasize a few main important points so you might want to have this to display on autoplay so how can you enable this well once you've created your section here you go to extra options and right here at the bottom you have autoplay so if you enable this as you can see now you have a progress bar and it will automatically load the next one once it's gone past the five seconds as you can see the duration is five so this is in seconds so every five seconds it will automatically load the next tab okay so you have the auto play here and then play pause button if you enable this it will display a small play and pause button underneath so if i was to click on pause once it's reached the five seconds it will stop and basically if i want to continue i have to click play and then it will load the next one and so on and so on okay so this is basically another option available to you if you wanted to use it so next we have the duration like we said this is in seconds this is the load time you have the color of the progress bar so basically click on this and then you can select any color you want so let's go with red now just to give you a quick example so basically now our progress bar is in red and then you can change the thickness so this is five pixels at the moment so let's increase that to 10 as you can see much thicker or you can have it thinner maybe let's say three okay so that's basically it for the auto -play. Another quick example here that might be of interest to you is how to set column layout for Elementor tab. So as you can see, we have 15 different tabs here and you might want to reorganize them differently. If you go to extra options here, we have tab columns. And as you can see, you can select how many columns you want to display. So we have three by default. As you can see, they're all organized in three different colors, columns. Maybe you want to display that in five different columns and so on. So this is basically another option available to you. And finally, we kept the best for last. How to connect Elementor tabs with carousels. So as you can see here, we have different tabs, three of them in total. And if I click on each one of them, it will actually be linked directly to the slider here by the side. But not only that, it will also change the whole background color of our section here. So how amazing is that? So again, you can go to our own website, you can copy this and import that immediately into Elementor and work from the demo. So let me show you how all these work together. So step number one is to add your tabs like we have here. So you use the tabs and tools widget and then you create your tabs just like we did uh, throughout this whole video uh, several times already. So you put your title, you can create some content here, okay? And then after this, in a different column here, we can add what is called a carousel anything widget. So here you're going to create as many slides as you have tabs. So you have three tabs, you're going to create three different slides, okay? So you're going to add your title, so slide number one, slide number two, slide number three, and then you're going to select the type of content. So in our case here, this is an image, so this is going to come from a template, okay? And how do you create that template? Well, the same way we did previously, you go back to Elementor here, template, save templates, you add a new one, and you're going to create three of them basically, okay? So we have slide one, 
1, slide 2, slide 3. And if I open this with Elementor, you will see quickly what it looks like. So that's basically it. You insert an image here in a container, okay? And then once you've that created, you have your three different uh, slides. And then we can go back here and insert them here. So if you select template, and then you select the template that you want to insert, as you can see, your slide one or slide number one, then two and three as well, respectively, okay? And once you've done that, you'll end up with three different slides. And now, how do you link this to your tabs? Well, very easily. As you can see here, we have unique carousel ID. So all you need to do is to create a unique ID. So in our case, we have tab main con, okay? So we can copy this because we're gonna need it now again, okay? So now we go back to our tabs here, click on them. And from here, we can now connect our tabs to our carousel. So we go to extra options and right here we have the carousel connection ID. So again, you paste this here. So control V. So this should be the same tab main con. Okay. And then click update. And now they are both connected. Very good. So let's put this to the test. So let's click on the second tab. And as you can see, this is bringing our second image and then our third one. Now you may have noticed as well that our background color is also changing along with the, the image itself. So how can you have the same color as the background of your image? So in our case here, this is red, this is green, and this is beige. So how can you change this color? Very easily. All you need to do is to insert an additional widget. So this one is called Raw Background. Now, how do you set this up? Well, very easily. All you need to do is to select the option here. So make sure you select Carousel Background and insert the Carousel Connection ID. Again, in our case, our unique ID was Tab Main Con. And then right here, you can add the different colors. Again, you're going to create as many colors as you have tabs. So three tabs, three different colors, obviously, you know. So let's have a look at this one, which is beige. How can you add this one? So this is the one here at the bottom. If you click on this, you basically select your background color. OK, click on this, select the background, go to your image. And that's basically it. Now, if we quickly go back to our demo here, as you can see, we have the autoplay on. So if you wanted to enable that in the back end, you can do so very easily as well. All you need to do is to click back on your tabs here. OK, you go to extra options and then enable autoplay. So if you click on this, it will uh, start the autoplay. Basically, as you can see now, it's on. So there you go, guys. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe and share with all your friends and even your Facebook community so that everyone can benefit from these elemental tips.